Okay, so I've decided to dedicate this uh, part of the tutorial, the second part of the tutorial, to just explaining a bit about the process um, from the form itself um, to the point where it arrives at the mobile phone. Uh, the reason I've chose to do this is just because um, it might be complicated to some people to understand how it works through a gateway. Um, I've drawn this very simple diagram with a few annotations uh, just to clear it up. If you do know how it works and you want to skip to the actual code itself, then you're more than welcome to skip to part three of the video, so the next part of this video, uh, and you'll be able to get straight in with the code. Okay, so the first thing is this sms.php file that we've been working with. And the first thing that happens is when we click the submit button on that page, it submits the post variables through the form, and that submits back, so if you follow this line here, it submits the post variables back to this page. Now, when that's been done, um, we, we need to put together the URL that needs to be sent to TXT local. Remember the variables that I uh, mentioned earlier that need to be sent, like the username, the password, the message, etc. So we put together um, everything that's been sent from this form uh, in sms.php. We submit it back, and then the PHP side, side of things um, puts together this URL. Um, and then we need to submit that URL using curl. So as we come away from this page and as we submit this information using curl, we come up and curl submits the post data to text local. Um, and that's this page here, textlocal.com forward slash send SMS post.php. So we've submitted the number, the sender and the message, which are then put into a URL, which is then submitted securely through curl to this URL here. Okay, that's this step here. And then once that's submitted, everything's checked um, from the TXT local process. And um, obviously TXT local deals with it, how it deals with it. And then the message should arrive at the cell or mobile phone. So that's basically the process um, that happens from the sms.php to this page here and then arriving at the cell phone or the mobile phone. So it's quite a simple process. Um, have a look at this video, watch it a couple of times if you still don't understand. Um, but in the third part of the tutorial, um, I'll just be coding uh, straight up uh, how how we can use curl to send send this uh, URL that we're creating. So that's about it. Um, I hope you understood this, and I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial.